Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Serrano. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the crew, make sure you subscribe, get notified for more videos just like this. If But if you're already a part of the crew, salute. So today I'm going to be talking about um, one of the devices that kind of got brought back to life. Um, an older phone from um, February 2019. So it's about a year and four months since it's been released. This is the Nokia 4.2. It's gotten some improvements to the phone, which would make it a lot better to use. We're gonna cover everything that is entailed in the update that it did get. And this is a major update. Now, the Nokia 4.2 was released on February 2019 and it was released with Android 9. So we did see the device get Android 10. Now it's getting Android 11. Came grouped together in the bundle was a 5.7 inch glass bodied with plastic device at 7 point, I'm sorry, 5.71 inches. Dual cameras on the back, 3000 milliamp hour battery. This does have NFC as well fingerprint sensor, facial recognition, um, $120 right now. So Snapdragon um, series on here, the 400 series, uh, grouped inside of the bundle, you did get a pair of headphones along with the headphone jack and your wall brick and charging cable. So this does have USB, um, the micro USB on it. So just keep that in mind single firing speaker down below, but we do get the headphone jack and we do get this glass bill. HMD Global to produce another phone. They re kind of revived the brand when they put together this device that has Android One. It's kind of like the prom the first promise that uh, Google made when they released, you know, updates with their phones under the Android One program. It's the same deal. You're getting uh, all the promises that they, they made so far. They were able to um, live by and keep. So this thing does have Android 11 now. We're gonna uh, talk about some of the updates that it did get um, on this device over the last two years and four months. But uh, you know, is it still a really good device? Yes, um, we got some really cool improvements with this guy. So I kind of re wanna re, um, you know, bring some light back into the, it, Nokia 4.2, this is definitely a nice device with a lot of new features that got introduced to this device after the Android 11 update. So we do get facial recognition, fingerprint sensor. Fingerprint sensor still is pretty decent on here. It's still pretty quick. As you can see, I'm using that to unlock the device. But what actually was improved substantially when I was checking out this device is the facial unlock. So that's almost instantaneous now. I remember you'd have to look at that thing for, you know, about three seconds or so. But now this thing is instantaneous. Uh, it literally opens up within like half of a second when I look at it. So it's it's already unlocked. So um, right there, I was able to get three in a row and it's really quick. It's gotten a lot quicker with the software um, that they're using now to unlock the phone. So that's definitely improved. I remember there was like a two second, even three second delay on Android 9 and 10. So that's something I did notice. Um, let me take a note of that. But this device also does have the March security update along with Android 11. So you will see when you go to, you know, system or um, security on your device, that we are getting the March 5th security update along with Android um, 11. So I think that's something that's really cool. Um, you know what I'm saying? They kept their promise. They did make this device updatable to Android 11, Android 10 with the Android One program. I definitely think that's something that's cool. This device is now on, listed at Amazon. I'll just leave a cheap link down below, 110, $119 uh, per, uh, exactly. So it's still at a really reasonable price. Now, another thing that's another thing that I did notice is the animations, they clean them up a little bit. Now, 
I noticed when you swipe up from the bottom, you get your app tray, which they had before, but there's a there's swifter animations. It, it looks a lot smoother with the transitions. And that's something I did notice. So you still get all your cool features like your Google feed. You can swipe across and get your other apps, but it's just a lot cleaner. And another thing is when you swipe up from the bottom and hold, you're going to see that they added this screenshot feature as well here. So it gives you the option to screenshot your most recent activity. Let's say you left, you wanted to quickly just take a screenshot of something that you were looking at in your multitasking window. That's something that's actually new. Now this, this update is about 1.5 gigabytes of storage. Uh, it also did and create uh introduce the android 11 chat bubbles so one-time permissions as well is something that they did include in this thing so um so other than the smoother scrolling speed other than the bug fixes and the security patch um you know the device is a lot smoother it's a lot cleaner the facial recognition is a lot smoother as well and just the overall performance feels a lot more up to date less bugs and headaches when I'm scrolling through here. So it has some of some really zippy processing speeds for a budget device. This might be the best phone, uh, phone you can get for under $120 right now with security updates. And when you use that fingerprint, you can actually pull down your notification shade too. It's a one handed device, so it fits really good in the hand. Now, when it comes to the cameras, um, this phone has some really good cameras. You can use the 13 megapixel on the rear to do bokeh and it has that two point, that two megapixel camera for bokeh. So you could flip that, do live bokeh on the front and on the back. That kind of looks really cool because when you take pictures, you get a really nice depth effect as well. You can touch on the more options a button you get panorama, time lapse, um, Google lens, which is good for identifying um, when you take a picture or something, you can get more pictures of that thing and you could kind of compare the pictures and stuff. It has a one by one aspect ratio on the front facing camera with flash. So let's see how it looks when we take a flash. No notification light I noticed on the front, but we do have it on the side power button. So the screen will light up when you take a picture on the front with the flash on. But I did notice smoother performance when I was going from screen to screen and you know, even gaming is pretty smooth on here. But the other thing is that the battery is a little bit more optimized. So you will get about a day and a half versus just one day. So you will get, um, I, you know, I took this thing off the charger. I would say, let me see, just uh, to show you guys what I was, I'm gonna go to my battery information right here so you can see what I'm talking about. But when I open up my battery information on the device and I look at it, um, I, has, I have seven gigabytes free in storage, 78 used out of the 32. This also does have three gigabytes of RAM coupled with the Snapdragon 439. And when I go into, in addition to having Android 11, when I go into the battery, it says that I was using it for one day and one hour with, two, with three hours screen on time and I still have 45% left which is really good. So they optimized the battery a little bit more as well. So, you know, NFC on board, uh, two day battery, just about on here. You get, you have battery options, you have screensaver. They did, um, they, did, they didn't put screen recording, but I could check right now. Let me see if they did screen recording. Cause I know that's something, yeah, they have screen record now. So now you can drag that up to the top and you get screen recorder on here now they added that from into the control panel. So, and you get nearby share as well. So those are two new features that I really do like on this device on Android 11. So the nearby uh, and the screen, the nearby share and the screen recording feature, as well as NFC on board. Um, they do have some really nice animations. Now when you, when you move the, you can see the wallpaper move up when you, toggle the animation here for the app tray. It's kind of cool to look at. Um, they even have that accordion like feature and this used to be three by three at the top. Now it's two by three. So the rows have been, you know, they clean that up as well. But let me know what you guys think. 
Definitely think this is a cool device so far in 2021 after the improvements that it's gotten. Flush cameras on the back is something that's really cool. LG kind of did that. I'm kind of happy to see that Nokia HM, HD, HMD Global is doing that with those flush cameras on the back on, on there with the glass finish, $120. This is a steal pretty much for this price. The buttons also click really nicely like the Google Pixel buttons. You could get to your camera as well when you double tap the you know, power button and you get a Google Assistant button on this side as well. So if you want to get to a shortcut, you could quickly get the weather or something like that just by hitting that um, Google Assistant button right there. So I think that's pretty cool as well. But let me know what you guys think. If you found this video helpful, definitely, you know, hit the like button on your way out. But this is the Nokia 4.2 with the Android 11 after two years of using it. Uh, it's a really cool phone. So, you know, it's still pretty good, a good deal still in 2021. But let me know what you think down below. Um, a hitting the like button would be a big help to the channel as well. I appreciate you guys' support. And uh, I'll get right back with you later. Cool. Peace.